guys, I'm down at Captain Burke Park this afternoon and I'm underneath the Story Bridge. There's a city cat going past right there. And I'm gonna show you how to do some night photography. I've also got my camera set up to do some time lapse. So let's do it. If you would like to learn more about photography, I have the complete guide to landscape photography e-course that you can get in the description below. So night photography. So obviously we're here at dusk, it's not night time yet. Um, just so I can show you um, a few things that you need to know before it gets too dark. So firstly, we want to go through the settings, the equipment that you need and how to compose a shot. So let's start with equipment. So first thing you need is a camera with manual mode, a good sturdy tripod and a shutter release cable or a two second timer on your camera. The reason why you need a sturdy tripod is so that you don't get camera shake when you do a long exposure. Anything under 1 60th of a second requires a tripod. The remote control means that you are not touching the shutter button, which can also create camera shake. The two second timer does the same thing if you don't have a remote control. Okay, so let's talk about settings. The settings that I like to use for night photography is an aperture of f16, an ISO of 200, and depending on the light, a shutter speed of anywhere between two seconds to 30 seconds. The reason that I use these settings is so that I only need to change my shutter speed. Shooting in manual mode allows you to adjust these settings at any time if needed. Also remember, it's important to keep your ISO low to avoid digital noise or grain in your images. So let's talk about composition, which is one of the most important things in photography. So we're doing night photography and we've got the story bridge behind us with all the lights turned on at the moment, which looks really pretty. We've got it positioned on an angle and that creates a leading line, which is really great for your photo because it leads the viewer into the photo. Night photography is all about long exposures. So what this does is captures the lights in the buildings and sometimes if you go long enough, they can turn into stars like on lampposts and things like that. Um, if you buy the water, it'll flatten the water out. And then if there's clouds in the sky with a bit of wind, the longer you go, the streakier the clouds will look in the sky, which gives like movement against the um, stationary city, um, which looks really effective as well. thing to look out for with uh, night photography is blue hour which starts about 30 minutes and lasts around half an hour after the sun has gone down. Um, so this looks great um, with city shots because you've got the lights of the city and this really cool blue sky behind it so it looks really effective in your night photography photos. So it's starting to get dark now so let's get shooting. guys i hope you enjoyed this video and learned a few new things about night photography don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and i'll see you again next week for another video bye